Hi, my name is Joan Nash, and I wanted to show you uh, the Express Yourself placemats that you can find at ChildrenSucceed.com. You know, in developing different games and learning tools for autistic children, uh, over the years I've tried to think of different ways that kids can learn about uh, social skills and facial expressions. And one of the things that seems to have been very successful with the kids that I've worked with uh, are these placemats. And they can be used in a number of different ways. Uh, what I happen to do is just uh, put them up on my file cabinets with magnets. And when the kids come in, oftentimes they just ask if they can take them down and then we play different games with them. There are 21 different expressions and some of them um, are very difficult. You know, there are some minor changes in the expressions that the kids really have to t uh, tune into to see the difference between one and another. Uh, what we might do is we just bring it down on the table and the kids take turns selecting one without telling anyone else which one they selected and then they make the face and the other people have to guess what it is that they're um, expressing. Uh, they might just want to use them as placemats and have their snack on them or have their lunch on them and talk about them while they're eating. Uh, there are two different placemats, one that has the expressions and then the other ones that just have um, the expressions without the word label, so one with a word label and one without. And the kids just take time comparing one to the other and getting familiar with them. I know I had one mother talk to me about how she used it with her daughter at home, and what she said was she just put it up on her refrigerator, and she found her daughter going over to it and just sort of practicing the different expressions on her own. And then they would pick one uh, during lunch or dinner to focus on, and the mother would make the expression, the daughter would, and over time, she started to become more and more familiar with the different expressions listed on the placemat and more connected to other people because she was understanding a little bit more about how the other person was, was feeling. So just uh, one other way to help kids look at expressions, figure out how to label them, learn how to make them themselves and recognize them in other people that you can use as within your group of things that you use to help kids improve their social skills and communication skills.